What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. We're going to be making a super delicious, savory masala oatmeal recipe today. We're going to be using steel cut oats, which are a little bit firmer than regular oats. It's going to be loaded with all kinds of veggies and nutritious ingredients. So let's get right to work. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. So every time we upload a new video, you get notified for brand new healthy recipes. Okay, so this is what we're using for ingredients today. I have about two cups, and these are actually steel-cut oats. Um, they're fully cooked now. I, leave, I left them a little bit runny, not too much, but uh, steel-cut oats have a little bit more snap than your regular rolled oats or uh, your instant oats. They're a little bit uh, harder, a little bit more bite to them and uh, I like them a lot better. So basically I just cooked those for 30 minutes and uh, salted them. Here I have one white onion diced, about a half cup or so of diced white onion, about a quarter cup of diced jalapeno, about one cup of diced carrot, one can of organic kidney beans, about eh, probably about a quarter cup of minced cilantro i'm using organic tandoori masala seasoning you guys can use salt you could use uh, you know seasoned salt garlic salt anything else you want to use to flavor this if you don't have uh, this seasoning but um, this is going to give it a nice flavor like a smoky flavor it's got cumin it's got all of those really nice warm uh, flavors in there I got about three cloves of minced garlic two diced tomatoes about two cups of shredded kale and that's basically all we got we're gonna use uh, olive oil to saute with uh, all of these ingredients first so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our pan and start sauteing all right, so we have a pan here on medium heat, 275 Fahrenheit. Just gonna drop about a tablespoon of olive oil down. Now we're gonna drop our onions first. garlic and the green is just a little bit of cilantro that was left on the cutting board they got stuck to the to the garlic so don't don't get alarmed you have everything under control And now to this, I'm going to go ahead and throw in our carrots. And there's two ways you could do this. When you finish this, uh, these ingredients, this combination, you can mix it into your oatmeal or you can pour this, serve it over the oatmeal. For the purpose of having a prettier looking dish, um, I'm gonna serve it over the oatmeal first just to show you guys but normally I would mix it in to allow all those flavors to be um, evenly uh, you know broken up but either way it will work perfectly mix it yourself or you know in the plate or you can mix it in on the pot all right now to this we're gonna go ahead and throw in the tomatoes this is going to create a really nice savory kind of a sauce with the tomatoes when it breaks down. It already smells super delicious. Garlic and the oil oh, smells so good right now. And 
and I added the beans and the kidney beans to also add protein. Um, oatmeal has its own protein and a lot of the grains do, but when you combine them with legumes, they become uh, complete proteins with all the amino acids because the legumes have a certain amount of amino acids and then uh, the oatmeal or the grain that you combine it with will have the other that is missing. So it's always good to combine like rice with beans or oatmeal uh, with some kind of legume. I always try to combine all of the grains, um, you know, with some kind of legume or something to, to make it a completely balanced protein. Bring the heat up a little bit to about 320 or so Fahrenheit. And I just want that carrot to soften up and that tomato to break down and become like a sauce. All right, we'll come back in a few minutes when we add more ingredients. All right, so now that we cooked down our ingredients, we've got it nice and fragrant. I'm gonna go ahead and add in our shredded kale. When I make these recipes, I add these ingredients not only for taste um, and color, but I also add them because of their nutritional benefits. Um, you know, as you all know, kale is part of the cruciferous vegetable family and it's loaded with great nutrition. I try to eat it almost every day. And um, like I said, I grow it in my backyard, in my garden all year. So I always try to get at least a few servings of kale a day incorporated into my recipe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add jalapeno in the beans. Give this a good mix. Now at this point, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon or so of our masala seasoning. Go ahead and mix that in. And the smell is amazing right now. I'm gonna let this cook down for about another minute or two, uh, maybe about three minutes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and serve the oatmeal on a plate and then just serve this over it. Like I said, you could also mix this into the oatmeal and it will be absolutely delicious, but for aesthetics, because we want a nice looking dish, I'm gonna go ahead and put it over the oatmeal so it looks better. Oh, last ingredient. This is our cilantro in. Fold that in also. And we're gonna go about another two to three minutes to cook down and then we're gonna serve. All right, so our beautiful masala is ready. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and take our steel cut oats and put them on the bottom the bowl kind of like if it was rice and we're gonna put the masala veggies right over it and then we'll mix it in as we eat it
look how beautiful and colorful this looks. Now we can take a little bit of garnish. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use just a little bit of fresh cut cilantro. Put it right over it. And that's basically our dish. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Remember to give us a like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you really soon on the next one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this recipe a taste. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the oatmeal, and then a little bit of the masala mixture, together in the same spoon. Mmm. Wow. Oh my god, it's so good. The creaminess of the oatmeal, got a little bit of snap to the grain, super delicious. And then the masala seasoning comes in with a little hint of curry. The vegetables are super delicious. The carrots, the garlic, amazing. Mmm, wow. There's so much you can do with oatmeal. With these steel cut oats, you can cook a big pot ahead of time, then season them by batch, however you like, and keep them in the refrigerator probably four, five, six, seven days. And every day you can add a different seasoning and be eating a different meal. Mmm, the texture is just creamy and totally delicious.